As an employer, how to manage user access rights and company account information on the EMPF platform. The EMPF platform allows employers to manage different settings under the company account, including performing access right settings, updating the company's general information, adding new company authorized person and updating their personal information. how to perform access right settings on the EMPF platform. The access right control on the EMPF platform allows companies to assign different users with various access rights to perform specific functions and access particular information according to actual needs. If you need to control a user's access to specific functions, such as new employee enrollment, making contributions, or if you need to limit the access of a user to a specific scheme or specific payroll group, you may find this access right control function helpful. After login, under my account, on the menu bar, select user management. The table of all users who were assigned with access rights will be listed. The EMPF platform has categorized all users into three user types. They are company authorized person, scheme authorized person, and other user. The respective user type labels of each user will be shown in the role column. In the access level column, all access rights have been divided into three categories, namely company control, scheme control, and payroll group control. For your information, Multiple payroll groups can be set up under a scheme for the purpose of differentiating contribution details, such as contribution frequency and default payment method. Employer can refine the user's access rights down to the level of payroll group. While performing company registration on the platform, you can register with the MPF on behalf of your company as a company authorized person. This role is the highest user type level on the EMPF platform. Company authorized person is automatically granted the access rights to the functions in company control by default. They can also make selections to the remaining two control levels for performing all functions, including arranging access rights to user and handling MPF administrative instructions. The scheme authorized person is designated during scheme enrollment process to manage a specific MPF scheme. This role entitled access rights to the functions in scheme control and payroll group control to manage MPF related affairs under a specific scheme, including arranging access rights to user in a particular scheme and handing the scheme administrative instructions. Last but not least, the other user's access rights to the functions can be assigned by the company authorized person and the scheme authorized person. Company authorized person can grant and customize access rights to other users across all three control levels. Alternatively, scheme authorized person can grant and customize access rights across scheme control and payroll group control for particular scheme to other user. This arrangement of different roles and access levels has facilitated the management of NPF. Company authorized person and scheme authorized person can add a new other user and assign different access rights to existing user. To assign access rights to an existing individual user, simply click view to edit the access rights of the respective user on the user management page. Under access right tab, you can update the detailed access right settings. Click save when you finished. Then, the access right settings have been updated successfully. On the other hand, you can manage all existing user access rights by function. On the user management page, click view by access right. You can perform access right settings under company control, scheme control, and payroll group control tab. Click edit under each tab and click save when you finished. Then, the changes to the access right setting have been applied successfully. How to view and update company's general information. One of the functions under company control is profile management. Any user who is granted access right to this function can update the general information of your company. 
such as the company address and preferred way of communication. After login, under my account on the menu bar, select profile management. Then select company management. Review the information and simply click edit if there are any updates. Click save when you finished. A pop-up window will be shown if the update affects the current tax residency status of the company or controlling person. Update the information accordingly. Then, according to your update request, upload the supporting documents listed on the screen. Review the information you provided and click Submit. Read the terms and conditions and click Accept. Then, the update request has been successfully submitted. How to add or update information of company authorized person, contact person, and controlling person? Only the company authorized person can update their own personal information. If you are the company authorized person, you can also edit the information of contact person and controlling person on behalf of your company, as well as add or remove other company authorized person. After login, under my account on the menu bar, click Profile Management, and select People Management. Under each tab, click Edit to update the information. Verify your registered email or mobile phone number and click the button at the bottom of each tab to add a new company authorized person, contact person, or controlling person. Click Remove here to remove the user. Then, click Save when you finished. Upload the supporting documents listed on the screen when applicable. Review the information you provided and click Submit. Read the terms and conditions and click Accept. Then, the update request has been successfully submitted. We hope you found this video helpful. Ready to explore more features on the EMPF platform? Visit our website at www.empf.org.hk now.